Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Pakistan. In the past sessions, we've been talking uh, very enthusiastically uh, about uh, this series of uh, ethical behavior, uh, ethical leadership, and behavioral ethics combined with anti-corruption and accountability and how we can practice anti-corruption so that we create better organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, moving forward, we would also look at how employees are forced to basically do things which are wrong. They don't want to do it, but they have to do it. And we are going to be looking at a few case studies after we go through these theoretical sessions that we are talking about. And also another important factor today is that how is it that there is a collision between the individual and the corporate interest? And how is it that, again, employees are compelled to do away with their individual uh, ethics and follow the company policy? So all of this is extremely important, ladies and gentlemen, and it's again about the root causes of ethical behavior, unethical behavior, and why employees do or don't do certain things while they are working. Now, when we are talking about companies, then sometimes even companies face coercion from the political as well as the social circles or the social quarters. Now, what happens is, is that different political parties or the government in power tends to do arm twisting or would try to compel them to do something wrong. It's happening in the media right now. Right now, we are having uh, this new media law which is coming out, which basically all the media organizations feel as an encroachment or as a suffocating tactics being done by government so that they can control negative news. Now, this is political coercion. Similarly, sometimes we see that governments uh, tend to pressurize organizations to do investments in a particular area or not to do investments in a particular area, to trade in a particular area or not to trade in a particular area. And that definitely has consequences for all the employees within the organization because they feel that they are being forced to do something. Uh, many companies do different type of tactics to achieve their objectives and their profitability, which we talked about earlier, should not be done. And therefore, that is a no-go area because we should have fair competition where there is no discrimination, where there is a level playing field for all organizations and all companies. Sometimes employees are also asked to fudge records. Many of you have heard about window dressing. You must have heard about double records. You might have heard about triple or multiplicity of records. And what happens is, is that to increase the profitability of a company, uh, employees are forced to save tax, are forced to do wrong invoicing, are forced to uh, submit wrong claims. Now, all of that has various implications. And therefore, it is very important that these type of elements are dissuaded, are ensured that they do not take place in an organization because it tends to create a negative culture which has many negative connotations for the organization, for the sector, and even for the country. Now, when we're talking about coercion, there are different types of coercion. It could be forcing a person to act against his or her personal beliefs. It could be blackmailing of some sort. It could be threatening. It could be threatening to block a particular approval, something which the employee knows is right, but is not being approved due to the vested interests of someone in the top management. It could be a loss of license. That means that a company has a license, let's say, to do uh, oil drilling, and that license is cancelled. Company has a license to import sugar, and suddenly that is cancelled. So it could be the loss of license. And like earlier I was mentioning, it could be arm twisting also, creating pain, creating a problem for the employee or the organization so that they are compelled to do something that they don't want to do. And that is a very, very negative syndrome and also tends to spoil and violate the whole environment of business in a particular country or in a particular organization. Now, there can also be something which is called conflict of interest. It could be the collision of the employee's interest with the organization's interest. Should I do what is right for the company or should I do something which is right for me? Should I compromise on what I know is right or should I blindly follow? the company line and tow that line and promote that line because it is a company policy, but it is a wrong policy. 
so there would be a conflict of interest is it a collision of organization interest with societal interest so many a times companies tend to do deforestation like we see in brazil companies tend to do away with agriculture fields which affects the agriculture produce of a country that could be a clash between organization and society uh, in the middle of a res residential area a huge rise high rise complex is made it totally violates the stability and the unity of that particular residential community look at what is happening in covid covid is a very big example where organization interests are in collision with societal interests so again we are now compelled basically to utilize as a society uh, four or five vaccines which are available so what we see is is that there is uh, a what we say a monopolization of vaccines and a cartelization of vaccines that goes against societal norms uh no hollow space in the corporations code of conduct to allow the rise in the conflict of interest so that is very important that you train your employees in such a way you mentor them in such a way you create rules and regulations and manuals in such a way that there is no conflict of interest because conflict of interest is bad leadership and can destroy an organization so therefore leaders therefore ladies and gentlemen there should be no coercion there should be no arm twisting there should be no suffocation there should be no conflicts of interest to ensure that the organization moves forward in a better way thank you so much